Welcome back, episode three. In this episode, we're going to talk about the administration of Stackstorm, how we get into Stackstorm. Now, Stackstorm, we load onto a server. We're going to deal with, with Docker Desktop. We're going to bring it up in containers. But we have to get to the application itself. And when we do, we have to log in. And that's what this episode's about. Let's get started. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you when we develop, not really develop, um, actions in, in packs, we're going to interact with them, right? We actually develop them in an editor. So you're going to want to find yourself an editor. I just kind of use um, Atom.io. This is what I use. Um, this is some stuff I've been working on, but you'll get yourself an editor like this. This is where we'll actually do our development work on the pack, building the pack step by step. We'll need an editor for that. Atom IO, easy. Some people like to use Visual Studio Code. Whatever you like, it'll be simple. We'll we'll stay together. No worries. All right. So get yourself an editor. So that's where we'll do most of our development. But to interact with actions and run actions and see how they work and see the output from them and really kind of see what's going on under the covers of Stackstorm, we're going to want to log into the Stackstorm client. Uh, the Stackstorm client is right here. There's, like I said, there's a container running for everything. So we'll do Stackstorm client. And the other one we want is the Mongo one. So let's just jump into each one real quick and have a look around. So in the client, if you click on it, you will see you have this little arrow here. Go ahead, click on that, and you will be welcome to Stackstorm, right? I type a bash to get a little bit better prompt. And um, you can see here I'm on version uh, 350. All right, so rolling down here, we can do stuff like log in. Everything in Stackstorm is st2 is a prefix command. And then we could log in the st2 admin account. And we change that password and we can put that in. Now you can put the sd2 admin dash p in the password. You can do that. Uh, you can do a dash w after that to write it to the, um, the sd2 client on the disk. If you don't, you'll have to um, re-authenticate every 24 hours. I always just re-authenticate every 24 hours because I love to um, log in. That's what I am. So we're moving along. See here, I can tell that I'm in Stackstorm now because I can see Stackstorm st2 action list. And I can see every action in the Stackstorm server. I can say st2 action list dash p and say twitter. -E and uh, hmm, I messed something up there. You need to spell everything correctly all the time. SD2 action list Twitter, and these are just the actions in the Twitter pack. Okay, so this will, if you don't type it right, it's going to tell you and it'll let you know. So it's you know, like everything else, syntax actually matters. Okay, so we can do all sorts of things here. We can list executions, look at how they, what happened when the action ran, what kind of output we got from it. We can look at st2 action list um, dash p core. There's a bunch of core actions that come along with Stackstorm that you could use. They're kind of helpful. You could run a remote Linux command on a remote host, a local Linux command, uh, send some mail, run a Windows uh, command on a remote uh, Windows platform. Uh, lots of stuff in here to mess around with. Um, go ahead and look around there. I strongly suggest if you're interested in using these, go out on the Stackstorm documentation and read about them. They're, they're not really hard. Um, I think if you say st2 action, this is pulling back from memory here, um, action get, and then say like core, the, the name of the pack, and then the name of the action, um, say remote, we can actually pull that action up and look at what it needs as far as input. 
some of them don't need any input at all. They just go out and do something like they get a bunch of alarms. But some of them, they'll want to process an array, a list, or a dictionary, or something, and you'll have to give that to the action, right? So here is a way you can look inside the action and see what, what are, what's required, what kind of a runner type it is. But we're going to get into all this when we talk about actions. I'm just showing you some command line stuff. So uh, lots of things to do here. So when we deal with actions, we'll want to say st2 pack install. So Every pack has actions, rules, sensors, triggers maybe, right? So we want to install a pack. We'd say TWITT Twitter. That's as easy as it is. And it'll go out, install a pack. But how do I know what packs I can get to? Let me show you. We're going to go to exchange stackstorm.org. Now this is the exchange. This is where all these packs live. We can take advantage of every one of these, and there's like 180 of them. So log in, look around. There's Kafka. We want to like stream stuff out to Kafka. There's a pack for that. We don't have to write the Kafka code. If I want to do stuff with Kubernetes, here's one with Kubernetes. I don't know what you do. It's up to you. But um, there's all kinds of other things. Here's Napalm. There's Ansible. There's Puppet, there's ServiceNow, there's Infoblox, OpenStack, VMware, there's just tons of these already written. All you have to do is st2 pack and then one of these names and you own all the code here. So that's the power of the Stackstorm Exchange. Now we can build our own packs and if we want, you know, you can make a pull request on the exchange and get your pack put on the exchange. So there's a, there's a way to do that. So um, this is the place you find all the packs available to you. And then, of course, you may want to build a, a stash for your own packs. I'll go to um, my packs. And I have a bunch of stuff here. I've been working with uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Aruba and Morpheus and Splunk. And I have a bunch of my packs out here that are on the repo, but you can find them simply by clicking on the GitHub and it will take you to where the pack is and you can go ahead and clone it. Okay, that's about all I'm going to show you there. So lots and lots to do. We're going to get started building packs in the very next chapter. So stay tuned and we'll see you then.